What is up, everybody? Z Swigs here with your location of Cade's Chests for March 20th, week number 29 of Destiny 2. The EDZ is the flashpoint this week. That means that's where we're going to find all five of our chests, and they are slowly loading in. So we got uh, two down here, we got like one up here, and then we got two up here. Pretty easy. Pretty, uh, doesn't look like there's any like buried anywhere, so that'll be nice. So let's go find these chests. First chest we're going to get is right up here in the salt mines. It says, so once you get up there, don't be afraid to strut it on the catwalk. We both know the importance of looking good. Now, this one is deep inside the salt mines. It's kind of fun. So uh, we're going to get on our sparrow at Trossland. We're going to head straight to the back here. We got to head actually into the salt mines proper. I always hit this car, so today I'm going to avoid it. We go like right through here. And then through this door, and then we got to get off our sparrow because Bungie is a fun place and they don't want us sparrowing through here, so now we got to hoof it. We got to get on our feet. We got to run all the way. It's less fun, but I suppose it's more practical. So just head into the salt mines. Like, it, there's not really anywhere to get lost. Just, you know, just keep going around. Just follow the pathways. You got to go, you got to go deep into the salt mines here. You got to run through this room. Just see, this is why sparrowing would be nice, you know? It's just like. Hey, excuse me, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm just passing through. Please don't shoot me. Uh, I don't mean you any harm. I'm just here for Cade's treasure. Why he left it way out here deep in the salt mines, I'll never know. I don't ask him because then I get into an awkward conversation with him about what's in this thing, and I paid 5,000 glimmer for this, and there's literally nothing good in it. You know, and I don't... I just don't want to deal with that type of uh, problem. So once you get to this final room here, just head over here to the right. You're going to go out here to this dark area. And then once you're out here in the dark area, it's literally as far as you can go in the patrol zone of the salt mines. There's a door right here. So that's how you'll know you're in the right place. It's up here on top. This is the catwalk that uh, Cade wants you to strut. So uh, just kind of jump up here to these iron beams and... Eventually, you'll, you'll get up here to Cade's stash. It's actually a pretty easy jump. So this is Cade's first chest. See? Four tokens. Awkward conversation. Don't want to have it. Second chest we're going to get is right down here, right outside the Winding Cove. So after a full day of pulling loot out of the Fallen's hands, I thought I would just cool my engines down by that old river. But as soon as I cashed it all up down there, a servitor shows up. This one's really easy. Just load into Winding Cove, jump on your sparrow immediately, and do it about face. We're going to go backwards from Winding Cove. As long as you stay inside these lily pads, it's not going to tell you to, uh, to you know, move back to land or uh, watch or exit the game area or whatever. You're basically just going to follow the edge of the shore until you get to Kate's second chest. It's really one of the easiest to find. You can't miss it. And now we got a blue arm. Awkward conversation. Third chest we're gonna get is down here. Sojourner's Camp. You do much driving? Me either. But I used to spend nights hiding out near this truck, just teetering on a ledge, just waiting for the day some dumb dreg would send it over the ledge. That day never came. Load into Winding Cove again, and we're kinda gonna go like we did to the second chest. By the way, why would Cade say me either? We do tons of driving. Like, literally every week we travel, you know, hundreds of miles on the Sparrow. Does this not count as driving? Does that mean that there's another verb to describe Sparrow, like driving, like Sparrowing? Is what we Sparrowing around? Is that is that what we're doing? Basically, just uh, keep following the edge. You can get back on the road here. That's what I usually do, just so I don't get lost. But you can follow the edge of the water if you want, but you eventually have to get up here on this road. Because what it's going to lead you into is the outskirts. And see, so you could, like, cross up here if you wanted to, but you're going to have to get on a bridge at some point because we're going to have to take the bridge over to Shador Shad Shad Sojourner's Camp. You can also get on the thing right there. You can also get to this area by going to Trossland and coming over this way, but eventually we're going to get on this bridge that leads you over to Sojourner's Camp. It's pretty simple. Just, just follow the road. It's not as maze-like as they would want you to believe. Go underneath this first tunnel, and you'll see this trunk or truck dangling precariously. I can say precariously, but not truck. And this is where Cade's third chest is. Birds. Let's grab it. Cade's chest number four is this one right here. They thought they had me dead to sights, backing me down this cliff, but I could see some fellow hunter sparrowing in from the highway. Classic. And say, I guess sparrowing is a verb. So I sparked up a little golden gun and brought my guy some time. I know I dropped something good in that one. Are you guys ready for the hardest chest of the game? Load in right here to the gulch. Turn left. There it is. Cade's fourth chest. You could basically just uh, run to the edge of this cliff, do a doubled hunter jump, or any jump, really, and you can make it over to this cliff, which requires you to jump a second time, and you have arrived at Cade's fourth chest. Cade's fifth and final chest is this one right here in between the gulch and the sludge. Stashed plenty of loot up at the old mill in the EDZ. To scare the dregs off, I'd throw on some old Festival of the Lost Mass and make them think the place was haunted. It's a brilliant plan by Cade. All we gotta do here, summon our vehicle, 
just go straight. You know how to get to the Gulch, just like you're, uh, just like you want to do that uh, public event. That's all you got to do. By the way, if you drift right before you hit the ground, you take no fall damage. It's fun, fun fact for the day. We're gonna head just like we're going to that injection rig. Get on the highway here. Pretty easy. Hopefully, there's no pike dregs ready to ruin your day. Once you get to this sign right here, this Salzburg sign, jump off. All right, you're going to want to just start jumping up on this canyon right here. So this rocks just start scaling this, uh, just start scaling this mountain. All right, head around the side of this building. Okay, you're gonna see Cade's chest. It's it's right over there. That's that's Cade's chest. So you just gotta make it around this building, which is actually easier than it looks. And just jump up here, and back at this back corner is Cade's fifth and final chest for this week. Hey, I got a purple. It is Faction Rally this week, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope it helped you find the chest, especially number four. I know I know how difficult that one was. But I appreciate you guys watching these videos. Leave a comment if I helped you find it. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like fun gaming. I am ZSwigs. I stream live every every weekday at 11 a.m. Central Time at twitch.tv slash ZSwigs. I'd love for you to stop by and say hello or leave a comment here, and I'd love to meet you that way. I would appreciate a subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great and fabulous week. Enjoy Destiny 2. Faction Rally this week. I hope it's a fantastic one for you, and I'll see you next week with more of Cade's Chess and more Destiny fun. Goodbye, everybody. Hey, guys. It's me, Z Swigs. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, informative, and most of all, entertaining. Please leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Also, come hang out with me every day over at twitch.tv slash ZSwigs. We're playing fun games over there. I love all of you, and thanks again for all your support.